Hello everyone, this is Roman from the EFWA team. In this video I want to show you how to run the Entity Framework da Data Migration Tool. Let's get started. So the only things that you need here are going to be Visual Studio where the project is and SQL Server Management Studio so you can manage the database. So in order to run the Data Migration Tool you need to make sure that the database um, is not there anymore. So if you already have the existing database, uh, you need to delete it. If you have any data that you still need, maybe you want to back it up in case that you need to reinsert that later. So in order to delete the database, just you can right click on it and press delete. And we're going to check both of these options, especially this one. And we're just going to press OK. Okay, now you can go here databases and refresh. Database is gone. So when we go back to Visual Studio, the way to run the data migration tool, you need two things. You need to make sure that the starting startup project is the Web API project. Um, you also need to make sure that in the Web API, in the appsetters.json file, you have this line commented out as this is going to be your local database. Save that. Um, and lastly, what you need to do is down here, you need to open the package manager console. If you do not have this tab, you can also open it by going tools, Nuget package manager, package manager console. Now in the package manager console, you need to make sure that the default project is data access. Then in this window you're going to type the following commands add migration um, and then you have to give it a name it can be any name I just like to use effort wait for that to finish and this is going to be the migration file that's going to execute so here you can see things like it's going to create the tables um, create the schemas for the tables and down here it's going to not here not here here so here it's going to actually insert any data that needs to be inserted when the database is created the seeds seed data you can also include any constraints that you need up here when you create the database schema um, if the value is nullable, what type is going to be in SQL. You can also even set a default value. For example, say if we wanted to have a starting balance, um, you could do something like default value, and then you can just give it a zero. So that way, it'll have the default value of zero. Uh, whenever a new row is created in this table. So after creating the migration file, we're going to execute this command, update database. And this will actually run the migration file. Okay, once the tool is done running, you can go back to SQL Management Studio. We're going to refresh the database, and there it is. It's going to be populated with all the tables that were created from that migration file. Um, you can also make sure that all the seeded data is there by doing a select, for example, states. As you can see, it's populated. Or maybe something like... period
okay so that pretty much covers how to run the tool if you have any questions you can contact me ronald or you can contact dr misud sajari the product owner thank you